nights a week. Just think about that number. That's a huge number. First tonight, a woman is arrested for allegedly committing a rash of robberies last month. But that's not all. Investigators say Lisa Marie Coleman also kidnapped a woman right outside the Galleria parking garage. Court documents say Coleman admitted to the crimes. And Ella Ruiz. <laughs> okay. Now, now we got, this is a horse I can ride, man. Ella Ruiz joins us live outside the Harris County Courthouse tonight. I and mean, Yelly Coleman was scheduled to appear just a few hours ago. Well, that's right. She was supposed to appear in court today, but it turns out she was not. And the court proceeding went, just went on without her. Now, we were able to find out through court documents that she dressed nicely. She wore heels, but her body odor was a very strong smell. That's according to the victims. Oh. This is surveillance video of 58-year-old Lisa Marie Coleman allegedly robbing a bank back on December 19th. Investigators say she's responsible for also allegedly robbing several other businesses. And documents state... Gliders, you're very solid on this, man. The you know, what, I wonder what the, the, the tellers were thinking when that shit was going down. Like, is this some kind of fucking test or something? <laughs> like... Is this the, the manager Alan, hire this woman to see what the fuck we would do? Alan Funt's gonna jump out <laughs> with the camera. Yeah, this is this is this this it, woman uh she got she got mixed up somehow. Yeah, gliders. Was she dating a son, man? <laughs> gliders, the chat, the, 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 the link is in the um the link is in the description box, man. Link is in the description box, gliders. Any of you guys want to speak about this, man? This is this is what's happening in America, man. This is the face of crime in America. I need to see a picture without a mask. Also allegedly robbing several other businesses. And documents state she admitted to all. Take a look. Two hotels, a sandwich shop, and the scariest of all was a kidnapping at the Galleria on November 15th. During I did her smell probable something cause, fishy when she said Friday, she admitted to the them. The judge described this... During her probable cause court appearance Friday, the judge described this horrific crime that started in the Orange parking garage. To have demanded the complainant give her money at the threat of gunpoint. She threatened, she said she had a gun in her possession, and the complainant, in fear for her life, gave the defendant the cash that she had in her pocket, which was $100. Investigators say Coleman also took 60 additional dollars from the victim's bags, but that wasn't enough. And then again, at the threat of being shot, forced the complainant to drive around to multiple ATMs to withdraw money that the complainant was unable to withdraw. Court documents state the victim finally drove to the Randalls in West University. They both walked in together to the ATM inside, but could not withdraw money. That is when they say she took off with the victim's keys and cell phones. She denied having a gun, but possibly having a gun. We don't know. Court documents state in the robberies at the hotel, sandwich shop, and the bank, she used a note. This handed them a note demanding cash, but in that somebody is outside with a gun waiting. The hotel reception is handed over cash in fear for their lives. And Ellie, what charges is the woman facing now? As of right now, we know she's facing two robbery charges and one kidnapping charge, but additional robbery charges are coming and pending. She could also face a federal charge. Now, her bond was set at $150,000 for the kidnapping case and $75,000 for the robbery case. Reporting live, Anayeli Ruiz, KHOU 11 News. How about armed robbery? District because Attorney you Jason don't have to present an arm in order to be armed robbery. You just have to present the threat of being armed. And you notice she didn't target any men because the men would have just punched her in the face and knocked her out. On tonight's breaking bond, we are talking about a $1 bond. Uh, believe it or not, that's the amount a district court judge set bond for a 43-year-old habitual offender accused of kidnapping, strangling, and beating a woman. Again, just $1. It's so... <laughs> Who thinks that our friend, um, the glider robber, thinks her bond's going to be one up one buck? 
membership has yeah, its privileges. But- what two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars total? What twenty-five thousand? And uh, are the bail bondsmen going to give her the one percent clause as well, or is she not getting that because she's a glider? Just one dollar. It's so surprising. Fox Twenty Six is Randy Wallace joining us now live with the latest on his exclusive ongoing series. Randy. Yeah, Rossi. Two hundred and thirty-second Judge Josh Hill was apparently sending a message about his thoughts on a law that went into effect last year. But some wonder if he'll put a domestic abuse victim's life in danger just to prove his point. It's in black and white. 43-year-old Aubrey Taylor is a habitual offender. You got Look eight that son, man. prior felony convictions, two of them for robbery, which he was sent to prison. According to court documents, the DA's office wanted Taylor jailed with no bond or a high bond because he's accused of holding the victim in his car for several days and repeatedly choking and beating her. So he's charged with two serious violent offenses. 232nd Criminal District Court Judge Josh Hill made And he's Friday been convicted 13th, of two serious but- violent offenses. This guy, man. This guy right here, man. Free and sudden, man, left and right, man. Shakur Judge Josh Hill made Friday the 13th a lucky day for Taylor. He gave him an unheard of bond amount. A dollar bill. Or, since there were two cases, a $2 bill. I have never seen that before. In fact, uh, when you first told me about it, I thought you were joking. According to court documents, Judge Shield was making his feelings known about Senate Bill 6, which eliminates PR or personal reconnaissance bonds for violent offenses. It's kind of like a, they're there. I wish I could give you a PR bond. I can't, so I'm going to make it a dollar. He wanted to release this guy on his own personal reconnaissance, but since they eliminated that, he gave him a dollar bond. I think they need to be able to charge him for uh, at least uh, reckless endangerment if uh, the woman ends up dead in a few yeah. years. Yeah, if she ends up harmed again. Yeah, but she's most likely going to end up dead. It, w- w- help help us out, We, I, especially me. I'm a son, man. I'm a whole son, man. All the way to son, cross my heart. So help me God, I'm a son. I, what what's going on in this glider's mind, man? I have no idea. I think I think we can uh, revoke his card. He's just going to be a free agent. Any gliders in the um comment in the chat can help me out, man. I, I'm a I'm a I'm a son, man. I don't get it, man. You're you're a I country music with- son, man. <laughs> I don't I, I, get it with uh, your wonderful um, domestic violence thing. I have no clue what the hell he's thinking. Me, I would just pull this guy's fingernails off, um, set him on fire, and you know let fucking pheasants and rats eat eat his remains. What's his name? Um, I, I was talking about the offender, but this guy right here. No, um, yeah, I'm talking about the judge. What's the judge's name? Violent offenses. 232nd Criminal District Court Judge Josh Hill made Friday the 13th. Josh Hill. Hill. I'll look him up. 200 and what? 200 and what, Judge? Let's see. Two serious violent offenses 232nd criminal district court judge josh hill made friday the 13th a lucky day for taylor he gave him an unheard of bond amount a dollar bill or since there were two cases a two dollar bill i have never seen that before okay but he uh, has to be released to that judge's custody and live with that judge dollar bill I have never seen that before. In fact, uh, when you first told me about it, I thought you were joking. 
According to court documents, Judge Shield was making his feelings known about Senate Bill 6, which eliminates PR or personal reconnaissance bonds for violent offenses. It's kind of like a, they're there. I wish I could give you a PR bond. I can't, so I'm going to make it a dollar. That's nonsensical to me. If I'm outraged, I can't imagine what the victim in this crime must be going through considering all she did. Someone has accused you and you're stewing in jail, you're angry. Who's the, the person you're thinking about? Who are you fuming over? And then who's the first person you want to go, you know, be angry with? It's the person who put you there, right? So I just think that uh, that, that needs to be rethought. We went to the Southeast Side apartment where Aubrey Taylor is under house arrest. I'm doing a story about your dollar bond. Do you want to make any kind of a comment? Right now, I have to go ahead and uh, send all this stuff to the courtroom right now. And I think that a dollar bond, while I'm a criminal defense attorney, I, I'm also a mother and a human, and I live here. I think that sends a wrong uh, signal to victims, and I, I think it's a slap in the face to them. If I had a dollar for every time I asked Judge Joshua for an interview, I'd have a lot of bond money. Maybe this time he will do one. All right, I mean, guys, come on, Judge. Aubrey Thanks Taylor. for putting up with me. Right. Taylor gave me a comment. Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News. All right, thanks, Gary. A crime alert tonight. A he's, e he's either Jewish or he's getting money from one. Those are the only two likely things. All right, thanks, Gary. A crime alert tonight. A woman seems to be reliving a nightmare. She's got video evidence of strangers rummaging through her mailbox. That's what you're watching right now. The most recent invasion of privacy happened just yesterday. She believes people experiencing homeless, homelessness who stay at an empty lot nearby her house are responsible. She says this is not the first time it's happened, and now she just wants it to stop. You can understand the frustration, well, have clearly. Uh, 12 News reporter uh, Gloria Walker sat down with a woman. There. Gloria is with us live tonight. Gloria, what else do we know? Well, Brenda Jordan, Linda P. Gilmore says this has been going on for weeks, and she is just really upset and she wants others to be aware so that the snooping can come to a stop. Yesterday afternoon, Linda P. Gilmore was shocked to watch this video. You can see a woman walking past her mailbox and reach her hand inside in search. Phone beeped again and I looked at the camera and when I looked at the camera, I saw where a homeless lady was going in my mailbox and she passed it up first and then she went back to it again. And when she went to it, she opened it and she was fumbling all in it. And this isn't the first time Gilmore has had problems at her house on Long Avenue in Beaumont. She's taken notes of every encounter she's had with the homeless camp next door and has reported it to Beaumont police. Oh, she has a homeless encampment next door. You can right. tell how yeah. dangerous that area is, though, because every place has a fence across the front driveway that they have to move aside in order to pull their vehicle out. Yeah, you got a homeless encampment in your neighborhood. You got a lot of unsavory characters, man. And has reported it to Beaumont police. Somebody need to do something about these homeless people because I don't want to have to kill one of those people <laughs> trying to vandalize <laughs> what I work. Yeah, Marcy, Marcy, man, where you at, man? This, this is Marcy's, Marcy's grandma. Yeah, Marcy's grandma, man. She said you want to kill one of these people, man. <laughs> Snipe one of them from her fucking recliner. David he says if you're caught tampering with the mail, it could have serious consequences. Government um, is very serious about mail fraud. Who thinks that one of these homeless people is going to receive some serious consequences for tampering with this woman's mail? Fuck no. <laughs> Spoke with legal expert David Sarns. He says if Beaumont you're caught tampering with the mail, it could have serious consequences. Government um, is very serious about mail fraud, mail tampering, obstruction of mail, theft. Any of those uh, are going to be federal crimes and taken very seriously. Some of the crimes like mail fraud, mail tampering, and theft come with a hefty price tag of up to $250,000 fine and up to five years in jail a crime that the legal experts say should be reported to the U.S. attorney. She would be well advised to go to the U.S. attorney's office and file her charges and complaints there so that they can... Im 